Yeah. That's a lot. They have to get around the tires in the trailer. Yeah. Hey, I told you. Hold it, but pull them off that Her style. I mean, you'll see how this dog's really you don't neat. You want them to bite the ducks in 
the baby lamb like the cow. Oh my God, my dog. She's cool now. They have to be tough and bite. I learned as a rule. But if they were to bite this other stuff, the little baby lambs. I said Martin just scared me. Oh yeah, absolutely on cattle. I ain't never eaten. Not allowed at all. Like sheep, if you're in a tribe, the only time they can bite them is on the head if they're charging. They can never heel bite them. They can never bite them on the side. Or what they call flossing when they grab their wool and yank it. They got hair stuck in their teeth everywhere. They call it flossing. It's against all the rules. So is that something that you have to train Hopefully your dog will help me with that. Your dog? Oh, he will do it. Oh, you I don't know if y'all can hear what I'm saying to her. Like, lie down, 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 away, lie down, walk up, daddy. So what she was saying was a different command. You have to lie down. That means release the pressure. Maybe the animals are coming too fast at me. Lie down. Walk up means, hey, I need them to move. Walk up sometimes means walk up slow. Sometimes walk up means get your butt up here faster. Okay? Come by, I told you guys, it's that clockwise movement. Wave your counterclockwise. See how uh, she's just constantly trying to keep them in one little bunch. Right. So, border collies stay together, together. We need to stick together. Every time you have a duck break loose, where does the dog go? She goes to that lead duck. Okay? Because... The flock, have a good her. The flock tends to follow the leader, even if it's a dumb leader. So make sure you guys don't follow dumb leaders. And so that dog has to bring them back in a group. She's on autopilot right now. She said autopilot. That means that dog. What I say is that self balance. She's trying to group these ducks together. The dog doesn't go. Ducks are dumb. The dog goes. I got to work harder. See how when I change. Yeah, wherever my mom walks, her dog should go opposite unless she gives her a different command. <laughs> hey mom, did you do a jump with them? Yeah. Oh. Do jumping duck. Uh. It may or may not go good, okay? <laughs> Can you have jumping duck? Jumping duck?
my mom's got her dog to be my cleanup. My goal is to work the pup. My mom is to clean up our mess if I happen to scatter the sheep. Um, and this is how we start a lot of our puppies. We tag team them. Um, I don't want them to get out of control, so I always have another dog to help regather. Um, hopefully she won't, but like I said, she's never been off the farm, so we'll see how she does on the puppy. Thank 
They try to catch the dogs and then the sheep. The off part, I didn't. The off part is the hard part to get. I don't want her to want to be off, right? But what I tried to do is go to her and block her vision from the sheep. So I got between her and the sheep. If I want her to work, I put the sheep between me and her. So it's all about placement of where you are, where your stock is, and where your dog is. She's um, she started. She's definitely not finished. She has a different style. She does more of what I call wearing. She goes back and forth more than I would like. However, for on the farm, she still moves the stock enough.
cleaning demo purposes. We just want to show how this dog is to keep that flock right there with my mom the entire way. Um, all of these dogs are ABCA registered, which is American Border Collie. They can also be AKC registered. They still have a dual registry. There are other breeds that work really well. You all, everyone knows common. You have your, your healers. They just have a different style. You have Australian Shepherds. They have what I call more of a loose eye. If you look at the way this dog stares at this stalk, She's got a hard eye the entire time. That's locked on. In a Border Collie, that is absolutely what you desire. If you have a Border Collie that maybe looks or, or, or takes her eyes off her stock, that is not what you would want if you were looking for a high drive competition dog or one to work. Um, An Aussie, they, they work their stock and they kind of go, hi, Bob, how are you doing? But they still know where everything is. Um, it's just different styles. There's Kelpies, um, there's Belgian Tiberians, a lot of other working dogs. We've just gotten to where we like the Border Collies the most. And they don't bark. I mean, they do if under well, a certain circumstance. Right. But not when they're working stock. They're very silent dogs. Yeah, you don't want them barking at your stock. There are other dogs, that's their style, and it's in their brain, it's kind of in their, in their nature. Generally, I want to say 95% Border Collies will not bark when they're working. Um, why is that? There, there. Work. I don't know. Um, there's a time, like if we were working really hard cattle, and say my dog knows that she's getting tarred, she's getting tarred. I encourage her to go ahead and bark. Get you a little, I hear the cow a little bit. Um, but on sheep and all that, I, I, I won't tolerate it. Uh, it needs to be silent, it just needs to be a hard move.
is terrible. So sheep are easy because they always flock. We try not to use mamas with little babies because they charge the puppies. And uh, that's instinct on the sheep. Not a bad thing. But, uh, I mean, I think that, that if you can teach a dog to name and down, but she did not down out there because she's not very good at it, then uh, you got it made. The rest just comes easy to me. And if they come to you when you're cold, you know it's a big club. And you saw, you saw this dog. You didn't want anybody touching it a while ago. She's just afraid of strangers. So she had a lot more uh, confidence about her, you know, as far as going out there and starting. And being around people, because my, my granddaughter, her, her uh, puppy, and she takes her everywhere with her, plays ball. And mine is at the house for me, and that's it. You know, I haven't taken her anywhere on, on purpose. You know. Anyway, that's it. Y'all have any questions? Thank about you. In, any other questions, I'll be glad to. Do you not start on the Texas camel ducks? I um, can. Depends on the dog. Totally depends on the dog. You know, if you've got a big dog that's a year old that wants to go pop their heads off, it's kind of traumatic. You know, on the little puppies, absolutely. I love taking six and eight week old puppies and setting them down with a little group of ducks and they just can't stand it. It's like a cat chasing a ball of yarn. They just can't, oh, I gotta do this, you know? And so, yeah, it's great up to about three or four months. This, this puppy probably did do good because I don't think she would try to kill them. She would just, she might run over them a time or two, but that's a big difference from eating them or trying to kill them. Do you, you know? use and more females than males? Do what? Do you use more females than males? I like females. Other people like males, oh, okay. you know, and a lot of people think it takes a male dog to be a tough one. You know, there's females, the uh, grandmother to the dog that I had over there was a real small dog. She was about this big, full grown, and the uh, toughest thing, there was no animal alive that wanted to argue with her, but she could work little baby chicks and baby ducks. I mean babies, and never hurt them. You know, so it's just kind of, they're all different. There's others that just swallow them as soon as they take yeah. them. Or they single out a baby calf and they single out a lamb. And that's a, a lot of that's the breeding, you know, and, and just, you know, I, like when we're working the sheep with the babies, the dogs will be out there, one or two dogs, and they'll get to the mamas, and the babies will be jumping over the top of the dogs, and they're like, okay. But, you know, they just totally ignore the little babies, you know, because that's just not what they're supposed to do. That's not us teaching them. That's just them coming there knowing that they're not supposed to single out a baby, I guess, you know. But it's good stuff. I mean, I like it. Because I've seen dogs that grab hold of babies and rip tails off and hang on to an ear. And, you know, just the babies. They're scared of the big stuff, so they go after the babies. So it's almost a tougher dog that that does not go after yeah. the babies. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun, though. <laughs> oh, no. I was working on my fan over there. Hey, um, we have a... Oh,